Ooh, I'm a little hot. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all, I'm still trying to get over my cold. Oh. 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 Sorry, y'all, I'm still trying to get over my cold. I am doing better. Um, ooh, so, plus it's like 100 degrees outside, and I turned the AC down a little bit. <clears throat> so, um, let's go on and get into it. Kimmy and Maurice baby mama drama. Mm-hmm. Maurice wants his son to move down here, move to Alabama with them. <clears throat> and the mom doesn't want to do that. And Kimmy is feeling for like she's she's siding with the mom's side, you know, like, you know, I understand where she's coming from, you know. She just don't want to give a child up like that, but we all know the underlying surface. I don't want my son around that bitch. No. So later on, he he but him, he even called her on the phone. And I don't know how old her son is, but he don't know how to work the camera to do FaceTime. So, but the mama, she got so much hostility. She's like, well, you know he can't do this by himself. So, he was very calm and polite. He's like, okay, well, I'll call back when you, you know, when you kind of calm down a little bit. Because you on 10 and I need for you to come back on down. At least two or three. Because there shouldn't be any issues with us. Okay? Okay. So, anyway. So, he get off the phone with her because she ain't trying to hear none of that shit. He can't be on the phone by himself. You know he can't hook this up. But how old is he? If he's 12, I'm pretty much sure he do these. Honey, my son is seven. <clears throat> and he know how to work a damn phone, okay? Okay. So, um, they have um, girl night. Girl night consists of Kimmy, Tisha, um, Marcel, and Maurice's sister, which... During the commercial, I thought that was the baby mama having a sit down because I think, yeah, that's what happened too. Maurice wants to do a sit down with Kimmy and his baby mama. I know, don't do it. I don't think there should be one because the baby mama really, she really probably don't even care. I don't know if she care, but she probably don't want to. It got to be some underlying stuff going on with, with those brothers. And one thing I know about these reality shows, that first season, <clears throat> They try to make everything so perfect. Like, they always have the perfect lives. They making all this money. They got it going on. By season three and four, that's when you get the real deal. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> that's when you get the real deal. So, we don't know her side. <clears throat> Excuse me. We don't know what happened in that relationship. We don't know how they broke up or nothing like that. I mean, he is 12, so I don't know how long... They haven't been together, but I don't know. But <clears throat> they have girl night, and um, like I said, it's Tisha, Kimmy, Maurice, and Marceau's sister, and some other friends. And <clears throat> Maurice and Marceau's sister, they just break it. He, she just break it down to her because you got to remember, she probably know the baby mama. She was like, "Well, you got to understand." You have a man, which I, most women, anyway, most women can, like, understand anyway. <clears throat> you have a man with nothing. You get him. You dust him off. You build him up. You make him something. You didn't make him something for the other motherfucker. You made him something to be productive in your lives. But no. Once he's something, he's big-headed. And he feels as if he's done it all on his own. And then at that time, you guys move apart. It's not working. So he moves on, go to the next woman. Next woman thinks he's the best man on earth. 
can't do no wrong. Where did you learn this from? Oh my God, I love you so much. You're so good. So, but if she's still feeling sad and bitter, I don't know how long they've been broken up, but if she's still feeling sad and the baby mama's still feeling sad and bitter, she need to get over it because that's their son. Now, for him moving down here, I'll tell you something. Teenagers, <clears throat> from the age 13 till about the beginning of 16, I don't know about boys, and every child is probably different. I'm not going to say every child is the same. If your child ain't like this, kudos to you. Bless you. But <clears throat> for some other people's experiences, that's when your child coming at stage where they're trying to learn themselves. Um, they mouth get real fly. You know what I'm saying? They think you somebody on the street. You know, they try you real hard. You know, I went through that with my daughter. <clears throat> you know, my finger got broke. Sure did. Uh, she booked up at me, and I'm like, hold on. And my mind lost it. I'm not thinking you my child. I'm thinking, the fuck you want to fight? So then I stopped, and shit, I took over her damn dad house. I dropped her off at her dad house. I drove her ass right on over there because I said, no, you will not disrespect me in my house. You not where I go to work every day and I come and I spend my paycheck on the bills just so you can lollygag and shit and eat and do as you please and you talk to me crazy? Oh no ma'am it's not gonna go down like that yes I packed all her shit up and she went over her damn daddy house so but in this situation he might be 12, 13 oh yeah she gonna feel it mm -hmm. mama next season next season after next or next season whatever she gonna be the son we ain't even gonna hear no phone call that son gonna be there I guarantee you, son gonna be right down there because she ain't gonna know how to control his ass. It just depends on what kind of personality he got. You know what I'm saying? That's how, you know, it, it just depends. But right now, mama don't want to let him go. But I do understand what Maurice is saying. He is becoming a man. But it, it'll be a time. It'll be a time when you're gonna have to jack his ass up. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. Marceau and Letitia, um, basically, Mar uh, Letitia was able to get her job. She got her little office. She doing her little work hours, so she working and being a mommy at the same time. You know, Maurice talking to her like, you know, as long as you keep up your duty, like, you ain't my damn parent. You know what I'm saying? You're my husband. You're supposed to be supportive of me. This is not 1952, uh, you know? Women work, have careers. And if y'all making that much money, can't y'all get a little part-time nanny or something? You know? <clears throat> I don't understand. And I think somebody's mother-in-law, oh yeah, Tisha, her mother-in-law wants to come over. I don't think that'd be a good idea. I think it would be good for the show. It would boost up ratings. But, ooh, woo. Ma, Marceau, Marceau might move up out there. How, Marceau might move mama up out that house if she come and stay. But you know what? That would help Tisha out, you know, with, with um, you know, her working and everything. Like, y'all got money. What's the problem? But maybe you don't want everybody around your man because he do look like a cheater. Marceau do. Mm. Melanie and, Melanie and um, Martell. Me and Martell. I wonder if I can get her voice. <clears throat> Me and Martell was going to a trip in was it in Atlanta? In Atlanta, his phone rings and I answered it, and it was another woman. It was the same woman he had cheated with. You know, he's been with her for three years. I'm gonna get it down pat. I am. I'm gonna get it down pat. But he has been with a woman he cheated with for three years he goes to a counseling session <clears throat> which I don't like what he told the doctor <clears throat> he told the doctor that she was a peasant I disagree 100% she is no such as a peasant you pursued her you talk to her. You got a whole damn wife over here. Whole wife, family, 
career, business, everything over here. This lady over here, you choosing to be with him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what y'all got going on. Like, maybe she didn't mean to call your phone at the right time, or maybe she didn't realize it, but how disrespectful are you, man? You call her a peasant? You the one who treating her out to dinners and taking other places she ain't never seen, spending all your hard-earned money to show off somebody? The sex is probably, like, awesome, so that's probably why you call her a peasant. But I don't think so. How she a peasant? And you got her riding around in, 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 in Mercedes or BMWs. Huh? Mm. Catch that shit. Funky Dineva got all the tea. Funky Dineva got all the tea, baby. Let me tell you, Huntsville is small. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all were really, really ready for this reality show stuff. But they gonna, people going to be digging and digging and digging. And they going to find, find, find. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Funky Dineva found out that she is in Huntsville. They've been together for three years. He bought her a BMW amongst other gifts that he's probably bought her. That's just your side piece. And Melody, Melody, you know about this shit. You are okay with it. And also, I heard that Melody, she was a side piece as well. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you, you you lose them how you, you get them how you lose them. You lose them how you get them. You see what I'm saying? That's what I heard when they was in college that, you know, she was also, um, that he, he already had a girlfriend and he was cheating on that girlfriend with Melody. So, Melody already know what she's getting. You know, I already know what I'm getting when I'm, when I'm with Martel. You know, I already know. But, you know, that's just how that goes. So... I believe that they're doing this because they knew that they would have a good storyline for the TV show. And maybe he's gotten sloppy with it. You know, maybe that's her concern. Because honestly, I mean, and then they showed them all as a family. And to her, to, to her, it's about image. You know what I'm saying? It's about upkeep. But maybe this other woman he with, he don't have to be... Maybe this other woman, he way he could be himself. You know, he could be his. Mm. Maybe the other woman, he way he could like genuinely be himself, or maybe he he don't have to be a certain way around her or anything like that. You would think after ten years of being with Melody, you can, but you'd be surprised how many couples cannot not be themselves, or they like the family part of it, but it's just some personal needs. That are not being taken care of and no disrespect or anything, but you know, you were a human, you know, it, life is hard, you know, you have to have an outlet, you know, we don't know what the hell Melanie doing all damn day long besides spending money and shopping, you know, so I don't know about that, you know what I'm saying, like, mm. they go to a photo shoot, um, I forgot the name of the photo shoot, they go to a photo shoot. And um, even though they're still mad at each other right now, they're going to go to this photo shoot and keep up appearances. So they're taking pictures with each other and um, they're taking pictures and smiling and smiling for the camera and laughing and Google. Oh, meanwhile, she feeling sick. But on top of that, I forgot about this, y'all. <clears throat> Melanie pregnant again. So she finna have another baby? So... So she thinking that the baby gonna make them closer. Mm. Okay. So basically that thing is to keep up appearances. You know what I'm saying? They just want to do this for show. They got a good business together. They do things together. So that's what they want to do. Anyway. So uh, Martel. So we go back to Marceau. Marceau is in the gym. His gym buddy comes talk to him and tell him like, hey man, I didn't know you and Martel when, you know, getting along with each other. And um, Marcel say, uh, I didn't know we weren't getting along with each other. He said, yeah, man. He said, y'all ain't, you know, he told me some things that was going on or whatever. So he said, well, I'm going to have to, you know, get up with him and talk to him about it. So um, Marceau calls Martel. 
He said, hey man, I heard um, we weren't talking. When, when was this? He said, well, we could do this in person. He said, I'm showing the house right now. You can come. He said, okay. Marcel comes, shows up. There's a realtor there. He shakes the realtor's hand. He doesn't shake. He doesn't. Does Martel? Martel doesn't shake his hand. Or he doesn't shake Martel's hand. Anyway. The realtor leave. He says, I didn't know we had a. He said, I didn't know we had an issue. He said, yeah, man. Mar Martel says, yes. Apparently, you know, after the show go off and they, you know, sh after they're done taping, they're filming the show and then he sees the the little sly words that um, that Marceau was saying. And he felt like he betrayed him. You know what I'm saying? He was like, man, you know, look, first of all, you the one who cheating. You know what I'm saying? Melanie is the one that's telling y'all business. You know, it's out there now. I mean, people gonna have their opinions. So, I mean, can you really blame them? That's what I'm saying. Can you really blame them? So, anyway. So, basically, Martel said, don't act like you ain't never had 20 women. Oh, Martel. Martel said, you, don't act like you ain't never had 20 women. Uh, <laughs> Marceau was like, hey, man. What you lying for, man? It looked like he wanted to be like, what you lying for, man? I know you ain't. What you lying for, man? What you, what's going on? This supposed to be about you. This ain't supposed to be my storyline. But, oh, no. Martin said, I ain't finna be the only one to go down in this boat. Y'all want to sit up here and talk about me? Oh, no. I'm finna show y'all what's really good. I'm finna show y'all. So, yeah, he said, don't act like you ain't never been with 20 women or something like that. <clears throat> Marceau hop in his car, drive straight over to home. Because he know he got to hit this. Head strong, head first, and let his wife know before. See, don't let no. See, the thing about it is, how you gain a person's trust, and this is what I used to always tell my kids: I cannot defend you if you don't tell me the truth first. Tell me, even even whatever you, even if it's wrong, tell me what you did wrong. Tell me what you did right. I cannot make a judgment. I cannot defend you if I don't know the truth. I must know the truth. So, Marceau runs home. He tells Tisha. Um, and I like the way he did it, too. You know, he sat down with her. And, Babe, I'm going to have to make you a drink on this one. I can't, be I can't believe they're bringing this out. Which they both look like. It looked like, yeah, he has cheated on her. And they both was just playing it off. Maybe when they initially signed on to be on the show, they were, like, strictly about what storylines they were going to talk about, but Martel probably felt like he went under the belt when he started talking about, um, you know, start talking about his infidelities. You know what I'm saying? Add some spice. Let me throw my tag. You it. So, Marcel said, <clears throat> she was like, nah, I can't drink because I got stuff to do. Well, he needed a stiff drink. He said, can you believe this man going to say, I done been with 20 different women? And she was like, Oh my God! Why would he say that? Why would he do that? Okay. <clears throat> what makes him say that? Mm. Well, I know one thing. If I hear it again, it's gonna be some truth in it. Oh, baby, you ain't got to worry about that. Oh, no, 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 that's not me. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yes, that's you. Your cheating ass. You cheat too. Shit. Don't Marceau just look like he got cheated on him just because he feel like he a king and he can just get away with it? Mm, right. I forgot to also let y'all know that um, Melanie, um, she also had this, um, what's this thing called? Mimosas and, is it? Is it mimosas and cheating or mimosas or something? So she probably been talking with another with a lot of different women about their infidelities. But you ain't still overcame your infidelities. But you talking about infidelities. So I, make me understand that. Did you just want to rent something out and talk to some people and charge them some money? <clears throat> it's a cup in the room. Did you just want to charge them some money to come see you put on your beautiful dress? 
because that was a beautiful dress and your beautiful hair and just talk about infidelities because you ain't overcame what you got going on but you're a businesswoman. you're about business so you're gonna try to make your coins you're gonna try to make your money mm -hmm. anyway y'all let me know what y'all think like comment subscribe um yeah love and marriage in Huntsville Bye.